Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. Overnight we saw the stealth release of CMU version 1.9.0. This was completely out of the blue and completely unexpected. Here is my review. Before we get started, I should say that I've received some feedback from you people out there. Some users have reported that I cut off my own words when speaking. So in this video, I'm going to do my absolute best to enunciate and complete every word. Others have said that it sounds a bit like I'm drowning. So let's try and clear that up moving forward. The focus of Simu 1.9.0 seems to be on controller input. We now have three main options, keyboard, X input and direct input. To be completely honest, I've always had issues with controller input and general mapping on any version of Simu. It's always been a bit erratic and has some strange behavior for me. Initially, last night, Simu 1.9.0 came out and I couldn't even input a single control. Then a little bit later, there was a hotfix which changed the version to 1.9.0b and I could input the controls. But even then, it's still not exactly a smooth experience. Of course, it's a very much it's very much a welcome improvement, but it still needs quite a lot of work from what I can see. It's just my opinion as the complaining gamer, but inputting controls should not be that temperamental. If you would like to take a look at the detailed change log, I will provide a link in the description below. I'm not going to go over every point because it's technically just not necessary and what I'm going to cover is the things that I'm interested in particularly the control of the third axis using the mouse wheel now this is something that's very interesting and I can show you this in use there are other ways to control the gyro much more comprehensively using a PlayStation controller. However, if you don't have one of those, your mouse will have to suffice. The reason this change is incredibly welcome is because now you will have fixed control on a locked axis. If we look at gyro controls in Breath of the Wild Shrines, this is going to make things a lot, lot easier. The other points which I'm sure annoy many, many people is when you go full screen in a game and the mouse stays on the screen, now it will disappear after four seconds. I have mentioned this before and it's not actually a new feature of Simu 1.9.0, but I personally do love the scalable window. Now onto some of the juicy stuff, and as I said earlier, the focus of this build was controller input, so you're not gonna see huge FPS jumps here and there, but some of the games that have seen a significant improvement are Bayonetta, which now has a bit less flickering, and Smash Brothers US, where the DLC works with it. I'm sure there are tweaks with a plethora of other titles, but we will just have to wait and see on that. As regards the game, my Breath of the Wild performance has been absolutely fine. It's pretty much how it was before. Uh, I'm basically locked at 20 in villages, and I go from 20 to 30 in the open world. For me, it's acceptable, it's playable. Now, just to be clear, those of you who are not patrons have just downloaded the free version of Simu 1.8.2b. So yes, of course, if you want the newest version of Simu, you need to be a $5 per month patron. Otherwise, as always, wait seven days for the free public version. Continuing with Breath of the Wild issues, many users have seen a significant abnormal increase in blood moons in Simu 1.8.2. Now, this is where the creator of Simu Hook comes in to save the day. The latest version of Simu Hook is 0.5.3.1, and this is designed to help you with the blood moon issues as well as texture swaps. This will work from Simu versions 1.8.1 to 1.9.0. I'd like to say a huge community thank you to the creator of Simu Hook, and forgive me if my pronunciation is terrible, Raikusto, for his continued hard work and dedication. Remember, he is not part of the Simu team. In that sense, can we call him the number one Simu modder, perhaps? As a final note, and there's a good chance that nobody else actually cares about this, but it's something that I've noticed, and I'm not sure how long it's actually been in Simu, but when compiling shaders, I noticed that there's a percentage progression now. So there you go people, my overview and review of Simu 1.9.0. It's out now for patrons and the free version will be available on August 2nd. If you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a thumbs up, it really helps out. If you would like continued content, remember to subscribe. I've been The Complaining Gamer, take care, have an awesome day and I'll see you next time.